The mission of START is very simply we transport people. Our vision of that is we want to transport people safely, efficiently, and as environmentally friendly, if you will, uh, as possible. 65% of the carbon produced in Teton County is transportation related. So START obviously has a critical role in helping us with climate change goals. So the START board set a goal of um, moving towards 40% of our fleet being electric by the year 2022. And these new eight Proterra electric buses get us much closer to that goal. The introduction of electric buses to the town of Jackson, Teton County, and the START bus fleet is incredibly important. It sets the tone that the, the community is invested in values, conservation, and sustainability, which is incredibly important. And so the timing was just right when uh, START was available to apply for the Department of Transportation's Low No Grant Funding Program, and we are so excited for them that they were funded. Yes, the front end cost with the bus and the charging stations that we put in, approximately a million dollars. But the beauty is, over the 12 year life of this bus, it is actually cheaper than me buying a diesel powered bus at $500,000, paying the maintenance, fuel, and operation over the next 12 years. We actually save money. In order to consider to have battery-powered buses, you have to have an infrastructure that is able to handle uh, and operate those vehicles. You need the charging capability and charging stations uh, in order to, in essence, very simply to plug a bus in and charge up the batteries. So the first thing we had to do is purchase our battery chargers. We're fortunate that our utility, Lower Valley Energy, provides its customers with choice about where their energy comes from. So the Town of Jackson, Teton County, and Start Bus have all committed to purchasing 100% of their electricity from local renewable green power resources. So this facility in and of itself runs on water from local hydroelectric production. But on top of that, up on that roof, there's about 100 kilowatts of installed solar. That system would provide roughly 250 full charges of one of these new Proterra buses each year. Obviously the range was very important for us on these buses. With the advancements the past five to 10 years that Proterra and many manufacturers have made, uh, it made our choice very simple, is to look at this model ZX-5 from Proterra and be confident that uh, the range is there, that we can operate in 70, 80 degrees in the summer, but also the 10, 20, 30 below in the winter as well. Your typical diesel bus is loud, it's smelly, whereas electric buses are much smoother, uh, quieter. It regenerates, so it breaks automatically, and so as it breaks, it's regenerating battery power back into the battery. So we are expecting somewhere in the nature of 10 to 12 hours of service. Initially here, they will be solely placed on our runs out to the mountain resort, but our next phase is we're clearly looking at to place these buses on our uh, commuter routes down to Star Valley, as well as across our pass into Idaho and uh, the Driggs and Victor area. So we've, as a board and as an organization, have been looking forward to um, getting these buses here for quite some time. So it's super exciting to actually we'll be able to see them out on the road this winter serving our riders. They're much nicer than the older buses, so hopefully people enjoy the ride and we're really happy that they're here.